Hello Mariners, how are you? I hope you are fit and fine. This is lecture 7 on boiler steam line diagram. In the previous lecture, we have studied about boiler fuel line diagram. If you have not seen that video, please click on this i button and go through that video. In the end, please see this video completely. If you like this video, then do subscribe to our channel and comment. So let's start with our today's lecture. Here I have drawn the boiler steam line, line diagram. This line diagram is from my previous ship. Generally the steam line diagram is very much big and broad but I have summarized it into this diagram. So starting with the steam line diagram, we have the steam that is coming out from the boiler through the main steam wall. So the main steam wall we have already discussed in the boiler, boiler mountings. If you have not seen that video, go to this i button and see the videos or video on boiler mounting. So the steam that is coming out from the boiler is high pressure steam that is around 6.9 bar. This figure I am taking from my ship's line diagram. So 6.9 bar steam is coming out from the boiler which is further going to the exhaust gas economizer for the purpose of soot blow. So here we have the steam drain and the inlet to exhaust gas economizer. Here this is the open system the steam is going to the tubes of the exhaust gas economizer and directly from there along with the suit the steam is going out from the funnel. So now the steam here is going to the two places front here and one is there. This is high pressure system and this is low pressure system. The high pressure system is 6.9 bar and the low pressure system is this side going down from the Y strainer. This is Y strainer which is basically a filter which is in the shape of Y. So uh, it the Y strainer is like this if the steam is coming out this way. So we have the filter which is constructed in this manner. Here we have the filter. The steam is passing from here and going out. Okay, it is very simple. You can find it anywhere. Please Google it and you will know it about the Y strainer. So now from the Y strainer, the steam is coming to the pressure reducer. The, pres the work of the pressure reducer is to reduce the pressure from 6.9 bar to 3.9 bar. So in this line, we are having the low pressure of 3.9 bar. And also we have the relief wall in this line, which will lift to the pressure above 10% above the working pressure of this line. So working pressure of this line is 3.9 bar. So this relief wall will lift at around 4.3 bar. Okay, so now going to the high pressure line. In this high pressure, this uh, high pressure system, the steam is going to the waste oil tank, bilge primary tank, boiler fuel heater, main engine fuel heater, purifier heater, fresh water, generator fuel oil tanks cargo oil heater and main engine fresh water heater okay so and similarly after passing through the reducer the low pressure system the steam is going to the calorifier sludge tanks sea chest service and settling tank oil or water separator and fuel oil tracing steam line so our we have known about the high pressure and low pressure system so now we have known that the steam is going inside a tank and it is coming out from the tank. So inside, going inside, we have already studies. Now what are the things that are present when the steam is coming outside from a tank? Suppose from this point. So I have, uh, so the outlet of the steam is similar for all of these. So I have taken into consideration the main engine freshwater heater. So the steam is coming out from here. And on the first thing that it will find is steam trap. This is called steam trap. In our coming lectures, we are going to study about the steam traps and the different types of steam trap. 
for now we the only thing we should know is the purpose of steam trap so the purpose of steam trap here is the steam trap allow the complete utilization of the steam inside the tank so that steam that comes out does not comes out as steam but as condensate so and when does the steam gets converted into condensate when it gives all its latent heat to the content of the tank so when the latent heat heat is given so the steam gets converted to condensate and the steam tap ensure that only condensate comes out from the outlet of the steam line or from the tank so after this we have a non return wall here this is non return wall okay and similar similarly you will find in the low pressure system also the it is coming oil water we are taking into consideration oily water separator it is coming out this is steam trap and non return wall and these both are going to the dump condenser this is called dump condenser dump condenser my marker is also not working this is called dump condenser okay the function of the dump condenser is to avoid fluctuation that is happening in the steam system suppose there is a load on the system and the steam is being continuously continuously utilized to heat the content of the tank or to or for the steam turbines and when we are closing the the inlet of the steam to the tanks or when the steam turbine is uh, shut down so at that time the load is already high the steam the uh the uh, pressure of the steam system is already high so immediately when the consumption is reduced so to avoid the pressure to over exceed at that time dump condenser comes into play so here you see from the boiler it is coming from here to the dump condenser through the control wall this is control wall so it automatically when the pressure exceeds it automatically opens and dump the excess steam what if the dump condenser is not there if the dump condenser is not there then the steam might uh, go to the funnel via the relief wall so a very good amount of steam gets wasted and we need to again take water into the boiler as the water is lost to the atmosphere so to avoid that we dump the condens dump the steam so that the steam and the water is back into the system this was the purpose of dump condenser and from the outlet it is coming to the dump condenser from dump condenser the water is going here to the observation tank this is observation tank and from observation tank to the cascade tank this is cascade tank in our coming lectures we are going to study about the construction of observation tank and cascade tank for now the uh the purpose of observation tank is to see that there is no fuel oil heater or the tube that is leaking so maybe our system gets contaminated with oil so we have continuously observed this tank so we don't have any oil deposits that are there in the tank this was all about boiler steam line diagram if you have any question regarding the steam line please do comment below and i will try to help you so thank you guys thank you for watching this video completely and we love you and jai hind jai bharat and apna khyal rakho take care of yourself and your family thank you enjoy your day kade anak ni lai di aai utte aage jadon pind ni o shadni ho baaki jo marji hunda hor ve bre par gaal ni kadni